Hey, what's going on everybody? Tim here, the Frugal Travel Guru, also known as the Greyhound Guru, back with another real quick video. In today's video, I wanted to answer a question that I have so far neglected to answer. Um, I didn't really realize how big of a question it was for people uh, who were thinking about riding the Greyhound bus, but I was doing some research the other day, and one of the questions that kept popping up when I was researching like the most important questions people have about Greyhound was, does Greyhound bus check for ID? It's one of the biggest questions all over like Google, people were asking that question, different chat rooms, different forums. So I just wanted to make a real quick video, answer that question. And I just wanted to say that every time I've ridden the Greyhound bus with maybe the exception of once or twice, they have checked my ID. Um, I know if you do a print at home ticket, they're always saying, I never do print at home, I always do will call. But I know if you do a print at home ticket, they are always saying, have your ID out, have your ID ready. Everyone I've seen get on the bus who printed their ticket at home had to show their ID to make sure that it was their name uh, on the ticket. It matched the name on the ID. <clears throat> Excuse me. I always do the will call ticket which means I pick my ticket up at the station. And most of the time, 98% of the time, they will ask to see my ID. There were a couple times where they asked just for like my confirmation number or um, just like my, you can put in like a little password uh, that you can use. Um, and they asked for that one time, I think. But, and I think that was just people being lazy, uh, employees being lazy. Majority of the time, 98% of the time, they always ask to see my ID then they pull my ticket up. Uh, they ask for my confirmation number too, but typically always my ID. And the reason I know they're trained to always ask for ID is because if you buy a ticket for someone else, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, um, it's an $18 fee. So they want to definitely make sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm coming down with something. They want to definitely make sure that the person on the ticket is the person getting on the bus because if it's not, they can charge you an additional $18 fee and Greyhound wants that money. So the employees are trained to always ask for an ID. So um, I realize that there's a lot of people out there who might not have an ID or at the moment don't have a license ID, something like that. Um, and I know it's pretty hard to travel, especially any other form of travel. Uh, you may think, well, hey, maybe the Greyhound bus. But unfortunately, uh, as of this moment, the Greyhound bus still checks for ID. They want to make sure that the ticket matches the person. Now, when it comes to the new e-tickets, which they're rolling out, I'm assuming they check your ID for the e-tickets as well. I can't comment on that because I've never used it. Hopefully, I can change that sometime soon uh, when I do my next trip, uh, Greyhound trip. But I'm assuming they probably still check ID even with the e-tickets because they want that money if, you, if your name and your ID does not match. So, yeah, if you're planning on taking a Greyhound trip and you're thinking, well, I don't have an ID, Greyhound won't care. They don't care about anything. Unfortunately, that's not true. They, most of the time, will check your ID. You're going to have to have some form of driver's license, some form of state-issued ID, um, passport, I'm sure it will work. Um, I don't know about school ID, things like that. You could probably go to the Greyhound website, check that out. I would say call Greyhound and ask, but um, you might could try calling your local station, but sometimes they answer, sometimes they don't. Customer service, it's a toss up. Uh, but just plan on having an ID if you're going to ride the Greyhound bus. All right, I'm Tim, Frugal Travel Guru. I am about to... Uh, close this video out not going to make it a long 10 minute one like i usually do if you have any other greyhound bus questions please check out my other videos there will be a link to my channel page that has all my videos on it in the description box uh, also you can check out my website greyhoundbusguru.com check me out on social media that will be in the description box as well as well as some articles i wrote about the greyhound bus if you prefer to read as opposed to looking and listening to me um yeah but thanks for watching. And if you have uh, any questions I haven't answered about the Greyhound bus, or you just want to share some of your Greyhound bus stories, a lot of people do that, really enjoy reading those, uh, just put it in the comment box below. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk Greyhound. Let's talk other uh, frugal, frugal travel. Anyway, I'm Tim. Talk to you later.